R. Kelly wants to tarnish Diddy's reputation. Yes, you didn't mishear that. Kelly wants Diddy's empire to collapse and is very determined to do so. As you may know, there is a possibility that R. Kelly will be out of jail soon, and it seems that he is determined to get revenge on everyone who did not support him while he was incarcerated. And who is at the top of his hit list? That's right, Diddy. And Kelly isn't shy. He talks about everything. The homosexual liaisons he witnessed, Tupac's murder, Diddy's shady deals in the industry, and even touches on the sensational Jamie Foxx situation. Do you feel what unusual material we come across today, friends? Robert. You're killing me, man! Hi everyone and welcome back to the Celeb Live channel. Today I have a lot to unpack with the latest shocking accusations made by R. Kelly from behind prison walls. It seems like Kelly's stay in prison has given him plenty of time to reflect and now he's ready to share his side of the story. Not just about himself, but about other industry titans too. If you have not seen my previous videos, let me briefly remind you of the whole point. Recently, R. Kelly claimed that Jay-Z slandered him and financed a false documentary about him, leading to an erroneous decision by the jury based on that film. I understand that this may sound dubious. There have been numerous accusations against Kelly, including pedophilia, human trafficking, and drug dealing. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? However, for the purpose of our discussion, let's set aside those allegations. R. Kelly is confident in his claims and seems to have decided to expose his other former friends as well before seeking revenge on Jay-Z. The reason? According to sources close to Kelly, he feels betrayed by them. While he was imprisoned, none of them stood up for him or offered any support, not even a word of comfort during his time in prison. Diddy, in particular, seems to be in Kelly's crosshairs. From secret relationships and shady business practices to his alleged involvement in some of the industry's most tragic events, Kelly is painting painting a very different picture of Diddy than the one we're used to. It's a labyrinth of allegations and are here to dissect it all for you. But why was Diddy the number one target? Once friends, their camaraderie met a bitter end when Diddy decided to distance himself from Kelly following the latter's incarceration. Diddy's abandonment seemed to strike a chord deep within Kelly, prompting him to unmask a part of Diddy that has long remained hidden from the public. R, Kelly and Diddy once shared a deep bond that the public admired. They were more than just fellow musicians. They were confidants, allies, and best friends. But when Kelly fell from grace and needed a shoulder to lean on, Diddy chose to step back, allowing their friendship to wither. This act of abandonment was seen as a bitter betrayal by Kelly. R, Kelly had the opportunity to observe Diddy's hidden life from the front row. He was privy to every secret, every hidden act that Diddy managed to conceal from the world. Kelly claimed to know the real Diddy, the Diddy the world had not yet seen. I'm very tired of all of the uh, lies. I've been hearing things. Kelly's own secrets are no longer mere secrets. They have become public knowledge. In a situation where he had nothing more to lose, Kelly made a decision. If he had to drown, he would drag everyone he believed had betrayed him down with him. I have. Everybody said something bad about me. Nobody said nothing good. This realization undoubtedly fueled the fire of vengeance within Kelly. He intends to channel his bitterness and rage toward one goal, to uncover the truth about Diddy, a truth he believes the whole world should know. Since Kelly is currently serving time behind bars, an official interview is out of the question. As a temporary measure, we cannot rule out the possibility that Kelly might eventually be cleared of the charges and then be able to speak openly. However, for the time being, I have chosen to rely on statements from insiders close to him. Furthermore, it turns out that there is a wealth of rumors and facts that both Kelly and others close to Diddy have previously expressed. When I put all this information together, it makes for a truly fascinating story. So you, my viewers, have the opportunity to get exclusive firsthand information. And we'll start with the hottest part. According to R. Kelly, Diddy has been concealing a secret that the industry whispers about, but never acknowledges in the open. R. Kelly alleges that Diddy has often shown interest in men. There were times when we'd be hanging out and he'd look at men in a certain way. It was more than just a friendly glance, Kelly recounts. Even Kelly himself wasn't immune to these advances. There was an incident that occurred when Diddy was under the influence. One night, he made a move. I was shocked. I didn't see it coming. But he quickly brushed it off, saying he was drunk and couldn't recall anything. Kelly shares. This incident, Kelly believes, was a turning point in their friendship. The accusations don't stop there. Kelly insists that Diddy has been involved in numerous clandestine relationships with men. He claims that Diddy has always been careful, always managing to keep these affairs out of the public eye. And many of the rumors that are in the public domain have nothing to do with reality. Maybe Diddy even starts them himself in order to confuse the public. Whereas the real events go unnoticed by the fans. There has been negative prop 
propaganda put out about me. To substantiate his claims, Kelly cites a few instances that made headlines but never caught enough attention. One such incident was the rumored relationship between Diddy and Usher. I remember when Usher spent a lot of time with Diddy early in his career. It seemed innocent at first, but then rumors started to spread, Kelly reveals. Another time, Will Smith was seen in Diddy's company more often than usual. Diddy and Will were suddenly inseparable. It raised eyebrows, but no one wanted to delve too deep, states Kelly. Perhaps some of these rumors have been circulating in the media for a long time, but I think when such information is confirmed by none other than Diddy's former best friend, it matters. And if you thought that was the end of Kelly's revelations, you're wrong. Believe me, it's only going to get hotter. Kelly goes further and links Diddy to one of the most tragic events in the music industry, the death of Tupac Shakur. According to Kelly, Diddy's involvement was not just speculation, but a deliberate move. At first, Diddy tried to negotiate with Tupac, Kelly recalls. He wanted to keep Tupac in his bosom, under his control, but Tupac was determined. His mind went in a different direction. This defiance, Kelly believes, may have led Diddy to consider drastic measures. A possible catalyst for Tupac's decision to break up with Diddy could have been rumors about Diddy's sexual orientation. Tupac probably wanted to distance himself from Diddy. The whispers about Diddy's hidden sexual liaisons with men were getting louder, and Tupac didn't want to get involved. Although Kelly wasn't verbose about Diddy's connection to Tupac's death, his words are backed up by the rumors. Over the years, several theories have emerged suggesting Diddy's role in Tupac's untimely death. One of the popular theories that made headlines referred to an anonymous insider in Diddy's inner circle. The insider allegedly claimed to have overheard Diddy discussing plans to deal with Tupac. Although this rumor was widely circulated, no concrete evidence has ever been found to support this claim. Another theory emerged when Diddy's former bodyguard claimed in his storybook that Diddy had a direct hand in Tupac's death. He claimed that Diddy often spoke of his frustration and anger toward Tupac. The bodyguard suggested that these feelings of resentment were ultimately what drove Diddy to organize Tupac's murder. These theories, as yet unconfirmed, continued to raise suspicions about Diddy's involvement. As R. Kelly made his accusations, he seems to have breathed new life into these old allegations and may have opened a long, closed chapter in the annals of music history. In any case, everything about this accusation looks rather dubious from my point of view. Kelly says a lot of interesting things about Diddy, but many of his accusations can be seen as far-fetched. If about homosexual relations and other accusations, which will be discussed further, Kelly tells a lot of interesting and previously unknown things. On the other hand, Kelly provided only minimal information in this regard. It cannot be ruled out that Diddy is not the only one involved, but that there may be someone else whom Kelly is hesitant to confront. Additionally, it is also possible that the issue relates to a compromised phone, as we receive our information through insiders. And next, Kelly makes an even more damning claim. He asserts that Diddy has been a puppeteer in the industry, manipulating other artists and industry figures for his own gain. It's all about power and control for him, says Kelly, exposing what he claims is Diddy's true modus operandi. R. Kelly is not the only one who has raised concerns about Diddy's influence in the industry. Over the years, there have been murmurs, whispers, and at times outright accusations of Diddy being a puppet master pulling the strings behind the scenes. He likes to stay 10 steps ahead of what's going on with everything. The partying, lifestyle, and his whole branding one insider claims, rumors of Diddy's association with the Illuminati, a secret society often linked with control over global events, have also circulated. In the past, celebrities like Kanye West and Jay-Z have reportedly hinted at Diddy's possible ties to the group. You hear the Illuminati rumors and you start to connect the dots, states Kanye. Although these claims have often been dismissed as conspiracy theories, Kelly's allegations add a new layer to the narrative. Moreover, Kelly alleges that Diddy has a pattern of exploiting fresh talent for his own gain. He has a knack for spotting new talent. He helps them climb the ladder, but when they become of no use to him, he casts them aside, Kelly asserts. He believes that Diddy's hunger for success and power overshadows any regard for the artists he works with. There have been several instances of artists who had a sudden fallout with Diddy after their careers took a hit. One such example is the rapper Mace, who had a public dispute with Diddy over his music contract. Similarly, The Locks, a hip-hop group, also had a disagreement with Diddy over their contract rights. There were rumors that Diddy had a hand in these artists' sudden decline, allegations that now seem to echo Kelly's claims. To further substantiate his allegations, Kelly shares a startling rumor that Diddy had allegedly plotted against Jamie Foxx. According to Kelly, Foxx was planning to reveal Diddy's secret parties, leading Diddy to consider extreme measures. Diddy feared exposure and thought of eliminating Jamie, asserts Kelly. Since Kelly was in prison when the infamous Jamie events occurred, I think he got this information from his sources on the outside. Surely, Kelly and Diddy had acquaintances in common. Uh, you know what's crazy? I used to follow Diddy back in the day when Diddy... As per Kelly, Fox had a close association with Diddy and was often seen at Diddy's exclusive parties. Diddy trusted Jamie. He allowed him to document things at his secret gatherings, Kelly claims. 
These parties, according to Kelly, were not the typical high-profile social events one might expect. These meetings, Kelly tells us, were often the setting for covert and often compromising activities. We are talking about gay parties. Popped out the town car with a camera, said, yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole... We need to document this, playboy. He was like... Fox, who had been documenting these parties, allegedly found himself increasingly uncomfortable with what he saw. Jamie witnessed things that he couldn't align with anymore. He saw secret gay parties, things that contradicted the public image Diddy has always maintained. Another insider reveals, when Fox considered sharing his footage with the media, Diddy purportedly intervened. Kelly says, Diddy got wind of Jamie's intentions and he was terrified of being exposed. He started by intimidating Jamie, trying to silence him. Other insiders in the industry seem to echo this claim, as anonymous sources have previously mentioned Fox being threatened over supposed damaging information he held. The looming threat, however, has not deterred Kelly. Diddy might not be scared of me, but he should be, states Kelly defiantly, vowing to continue unveiling what he believes are the concealed truths about Diddy's secret life and manipulative power games. Fans are reacting to Kelly's shocking revelations with a mix of skepticism, support, and outright disbelief. The comments section on YouTube is abuzz with varying opinions. One user, 90s Earn fan, writes, R, Kelly has nothing to lose at this point. Maybe he's just telling it how it is. Diddy's always been surrounded by whispers and rumors, so who knows? Another commenter, hip hop realist, seems less convinced, arguing, this is just a desperate man looking for attention. Kelly's trying to take down Diddy with him. Let's not forget who's in prison here. Meanwhile, a Diddy fan, bad boy for life, appears defensive. Kelly is just trying to smear Diddy's reputation. There's no evidence. Just hearsay. Innocent until proven guilty, remember? As these responses show, R. Kelly's bombshell accusations have stirred up quite the controversy, adding yet another layer to an already complex saga. And what do you think? Do you believe R. Kelly's claims? Do you think there's some truth in what he's saying? Or is this a desperate attempt to divert attention from his own situation? I want to hear your thoughts on this. Please drop your comments below. Are there any other allegations you've heard about Diddy? Do you think R.A. Kelly is doing the right thing by bringing these rumors to light? Also, if you found this video intriguing, be sure to give it a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any updates on this story. Thanks for watching.